Okay, so here we go. I'm going to write my, I mean, read my entire book of Terra Hypt. So, let's go. At the very start of everything you see, hear and touch. With the immense knowledge you humans have at your disposal, yet there's no sign of greater power. You see stars, planets, and great galaxies like a warm fire lit by someone in the middle of a dark and cold forest. But you are only the one there to settle down and warm yourself back to health. But who lit the fire? Did they why why did they not put it out? Did they expect you? But still, you came close and basked in the comfort of it. You then went back on your voyage, making friends, assisting your family, eating, breathing. Such simple things, but you still can't. Shake the feeling of being watched. Thousands of years have passed without much of any celestial guidance. You have written books about your gods, written the distance between one world to the next. You have the power of knowledge, yet so few truths to discover. You ask yourself, what is the meaning of life? Kind of a pointless question, I might say, because demons, angels, and gods doesn't seem to be bothered by it. They are too busy fighting a war we cannot see. If looking deep within us doesn't bear any fruit, maybe looking outside will. Many, many years ago, close to the beginning of time, there was one, but also many, the masters of the universe, united into what was to become the very first empire of everything they could see and touch. With their immense knowledge, they knew what came before them, and yet the story continues. A young fellow with the name Scythus could not stand the constant stagnation of his kind. All that could be seen, already touched, all that could be heard, already understood. He walked among his people, they were all asleep, with nothing to say. And with nothing to do, Scythus had no other choice but to find that one truth that would spark motivation and creative vigor, which would once again raise his sleeping kingdom into life again. No matter how hard he tried, nobody seemed to care. They didn't even look at 
what he was in the process of making. Scythus created something that would curse him for the rest of his life. And that was a mistake. A mistake so obvious, yet so elusive. Not even the most intelligent of his kind found anything wrong with it. Blinded by blissful ignorance, Scythus ripped apart the entire fabric of space. He was met with a force so strong, it was both blazing hot and freezing cold, an air piercingly sizzle from something so small grew into a ball of unholy flames that blasted through his entire empire, killing everyone and destroying everything. Planets, stars, galaxies, and much more got wiped out by the colossal force. And somehow, Scythus was still feeling every single second of it. He was the, the one standing closest to his own doom. Yet, he was spared. But it was not without immense pain that he had to endure. His entire body was crushed and blasted into a cloud of body parts, but not his eye and mind. What felt like an eternity of sickness passed by so fast, yet it lasted for millions of years. He woke up and saw a completely desolate environment, like a desert with burning bright dunes of hard rock. Scythus was nothing but a petrified statue at this point. He could not move. He could only speak. He yelled for ages in hope of hearing a response from his own kind. But he did not realize that they were all gone. Scythus did not even understand why or what caused the annihilation of his people. The Zytonians, the first and the last to possess unimaginable power and knowledge about everything that ever was and will ultimately become. Yet he is the only one left. Cytonians cannot even feel pain. They just understand it. They cannot feel loss. They accept it. And slowly... The primal sensation of grief started to settle in. A face incapable of showing trivial feelings. And a body perfected to ignore said feelings was starting to break down. He was scared. Grief turned into fear, and fear turned into desperation. For the first time, feeling trapped by both the loss of everything and the ability to move, 
Scythus panicked. He screamed for something greater. A parent, a protector, even a god. But nothing was there. With such great power, a Cytonian like himself started to discover a completely new feeling, nothing that mortals could ever feel. Only someone who is cursed to forever be at the very center of everything. And nothing. He cried, he screamed, he did not try to break loose. The feeling of trying was not even a concept at this point, and yet something was approaching. That sense of total death, a sense where you know that once you die, everything will die with you, family, friends, everything you know and have ever seen will end with you. Nothing else will continue after you die. Ultimate oblivion of all existence! The Cytonian feeling in, in. It is taught for every Cytonian to never get to that point, ever. But Scythus had nothing to lose, and the moment he kissed the very edge of it, everything went white. He exploded out from his entombed prison, and the moment he felt a slight sense of movement, he stopped. He's the only Cytonian with lightning-fast self-discipline, and yet the force of the shattering could be heard across the planet, like a boom from all of the combined energy that shapes it. He was free, but still frozen stiff. He looked in the direction where his prison was. In shock, he saw only but half a planet, sliced in two, where the other half was just a cloud of fire and molten rock.